Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Hello, hello, teacher. Yo le dije también. Hello, Gabriela. Hello, Ruth, Guadalupe, and Glenda. Oh, ladies are very punctual, muy puntuales, ok? Me encanta, chicas. So let's wait for your classmates. Very good job. Me ignoró, teacher. Why, Janina? <laughs> Hasta la saludé y no me contestó. En serio, ay, lo siento, Janina. No, no creía. Se lo dije, las girls están bien puntuales. Dije, no, Janina, come on, Janina. Lo siento, en serio. <laughs> Una disculpa grande para Yanira. Ahora ya vemos a Josué y ah, no en Gustavo. Ok. Eh, hoy tenemos varias actividades. Incluso, eh, si se recuerdan, ayer estábamos viendo compound nouns and the correct pronunciation. El correcto estrés que tenemos que hacer en la pronunciación de los compound nouns. Así que ahora vamos a finalizar esa actividad y a dar paso a las últimas actividades de la sección número 3 también. Para que finalicemos, recuerden cualquier duda, cualquier consulta de la plataforma también. Para eso es la sesión, para que aclaremos eh, interrogantes de vocabulario, gramática o el desarrollo en sí de cualquier ejercicio. ¿Ok? Entonces, una en punto, muy puntuales todos. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo va su viernes? How is your Friday going? Is it a good Friday? So, so, teacher, I really need vacation. How do you feel today? Yes? Good, teacher. You're good. Very good. So, ¿qué tal sus vacaciones? ¿Cómo van a estar sus días de descanso? ¿Van a tener un par de días la semana o cómo va a ser en su caso? En mi caso, no creo tener. Vacaciones. No hacemos las vacaciones, Tish. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué? ¿Qué es eso? Vacaciones. No, no existe eso. Ah, bueno, por lo menos eh, de las clases de inglés sí van a descansar un poquito. Pero no olviden practicar. Practice your English, ¿ok? It's so important to practice English, ¿ok? So, para que aprovechemos cada minuto, vámonos. Let's go and visit the platform. Si se recuerdan. The last video that we had yesterday was about compound nouns. Compound nouns, okay? And here I have them. ¿Se acuerdan los que mencionábamos? Compound nouns. Nombres compuestos. ¿Algunos ejemplos que se acuerdan antes de proyectarlo? No? If not, let me show you. Listen and practice. We are going to practice the correct pronunciation. Yesterday, we were practicing these examples. Names of places. For example, the first one that we have is bookstore, department store, gas station, post office, coffee shop, drug store, restroom and supermarket, okay? And we were saying that the correct stress or the stress, it goes in the first word. Siempre va a ir la entonación en la primera palabra, okay? It goes up, sube, y luego decimos la siguiente palabra sin entonación o sin fuerza de voz, okay? Bookstore, department store, gas station, post office, coffee shop, drugstore, restaurant, supermarket, okay? And I have some sentences here in which we are using those words. Look at this one. I have one, two, three, four, four sentences, okay? This is the first one and go on. So I need you to practice, okay? Para que no solo practiquemos la palabra aislada, veamos cómo suena en una oración, bookstore. And the first one, la primera que tengo en pantalla es Ruth. Do you want to try Ruth reading this sentence? 
This one, number one. There, there's a box store in the gas station. One more time, can you try it again? Number one. There's a book store in the gas station. Ah, so in this sentence, if you can notice, we have two compound nouns, bookstore and gas station. There is a bookstore in the gas station. Very good pronunciation. Gabby, can you please continue with number two? This is the one for you. This one, go. Um, there's a coffee shop in the supermarket. Can you repeat that please? There's a coffee shop in the supermarket. Very good. There's a coffee shop in the supermarket. The intonation. No tengan miedo de subir la entonación, okay? But very nice pronunciation. Glenda, could you please help me with number three? This one. Go, please. There, there is a post, post office in the supermarket. One more time. Can you repeat that, please? There, me ayuda por favor. Okay, Por don't primera. worry. There isn't a post okay. office in the oh. supermarket. There isn't a post office in the supermarket. Oh, there you go. Now I could identify the correct stress. I see I put identificar el stress. Bien. Very good job. And who's next? I have Janira. Can you please help me to pronounce? Well, to read this sentence. There aren't restrooms in the drugstore. Very good pronunciation. There aren't restrooms in the drugstore. Very good. So what are we going to do right now? You know, as the activity, it was suggesting us to record. Nos está pidiendo la actividad que nos fuéramos a Google and we can type Bocaro. So let me show you. Déjenme mostrar, es que es Bocaru, teacher. Bocaru is a, a very nice tool. Okay, a very nice tool. Nos podemos grabar fácilmente y así yo puedo luego chequear su pronunciación, okay? Bocaru, here we go. Let's go to Google and we're going to type Bocaru. Bocaru. Then you click on the first option. This is an online voice recorder. So, si se fijan, tenemos acá. Then we click on play. Don't forget to allow the use of microphone. Si no le damos esta opción, permitir el uso de micrófono, no nos va a grabar nada. So, allow the use of microphone. And then when you're ready, Wait, let me do it again. Luego otra vez, okay? Restroom. Classroom. Gas station. Police officer. Si se fijan, mencioné unos cuantos ejemplos de compound nouns. Y estoy lista. Cuando le doy guardar y compartir, me genera un enlace. Le doy copiar el enlace y nos indica que el enlace se ha copiado. So, after that you have that recording, we are going to visit the platform, look for section 3.4 in pronunciation, compound nouns, and I need you to post, add a comment with the link that you just generate. Miren, tenemos el link que generamos ahorita y nos pide postearlo acá con un título. Nuestro título va a ser Compound Nouns. Compound Nouns. Then you can paste. Miren, pegamos acá nuestro enlace y le damos Submit. Ah, ok. ¿Qué pasa entonces cuando yo le doy clic? Miren, voy y le doy clic al enlace de Campaign Nouns. Yo voy a poder fácilmente escuchar ya lo que ustedes han grabado, la correcta pronunciación. Veamos si es verdad. Let me see. Ok. 
restroom, classroom, gas station, police officer. So you see? ¿Ya vieron cómo funciona vocabulary? Yo puedo escuchar su pronunciación, no solo de vocabulario en este caso. We are going to practice the correct stress. Quiero que practiquen cómo se pronuncia correctamente el que. This compound nouns. I have one, eight. Son ocho los que vamos a practicar. So, I am going to give you a couple of time, like some minutes, like five minutes, I guess is enough. So you can visit Bokaru, record yourself and paste. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Nos vamos a grabar. Vamos a visitar Bokaru. Ocho palabras. Correct pronunciation. Luego vamos a la plataforma. Section number three. Exercise 3.4. And there you are going to leave your link. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Now, any comments or questions about this activity? Preguntas sobre la actividad? Or is it clear? Quiero escucharlos. ¿Está clara la actividad? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Very good. Gracias yes, por confirmar. It's clear. It's clear. So, let me go to WhatsApp so I can share this information with you right now. Okay? Here you have the picture and the name of the place that you're going to visit, okay? Here we go, Bocaru, Bocaru. So let's call right now. Nos voy a hacer trabajar en parejas ahorita para que puedan apoyarse por si hay preguntas de pronunciación. So let's call in pairs right now. And please let me know. Díganme cuando hayan terminado, okay? Teacher, I'm ready or I finished. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Tell me. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. No le aparece la plataforma, Lorena. Eh, lo, lo voy a hacer aquí en el celular. Lo voy a ver. ¿no? Ah, ok, ok. okay. Ver. Ay, no, no. No. Si no lo puedo ver, yo solita. If not, eh, si le da problemas para ingresar a la plataforma, igual nos comparte el enlace y nosotros lo publicamos. Don't worry. There's no problem at all. En, en, so? en el chat. Uh -huh. En el chat. Igual Aquí se lo enviaron en el chat. En el chat, Ivania nos compartió ya el enlace. Si también tienen problemas de grabarlo ahorita, pueden hacerlo posteriormente y postearlo. ¿okay? Que nos quede la evidencia ahí de que sí hicimos esta actividad y que participamos del de el foro de discusión. ¿okay? So, yes. Ahí está. Muy bien. So, let's go. Let's go in working pairs. Vamos clase, apóyense en parejas, cualquier cosa, voy a estarlos visitando. Three, two, and one, here we go.
Iba, no, 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 lo puso aquí en, en los mensajes aquí abajo donde le dice chat, ahí le puso el link. Ah, ok, ahorita veo. Pero que yo me metí donde no es. Espera. Ya estoy en la plataforma, pero vamos a ver el link. En la sección 3 es 3, ¿qué? 3. Sí. 3. 4, va. Espera. La 3.4. 3.4 pero es que después de la 3.2 a mí me da la 3.7 no, 3.2 no, ahí está la 3.2 de ahí sigue un librito 3.3 de ahí sigue un video 3.4 ah, 3.4, es que es el video sí, okay. pero no me carga a mí quiero ver a mí sí me está cargando el video ya le salió a mí, ¿no? Uh -huh. eh. ¿Cómo le salió a usted? Eh, el, el video me está, me abrió sin problema. Ah. Uh -huh. bueno. 3.4, discusión. Ya le apareció a usted. Sí, sí, ya. Vaya, pero mire, a mí. Do you, do you need some help? Necesitamos ayuda. A mí no le carga el video. Ok, if not, don't worry with the video. If you go and check WhatsApp, I shared the picture with the six different okay. words that you need to pronounce. Ok, en WhatsApp se los compartí, son los que tienen que pronunciar. Sí, la, la, la imagen. There you go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So don't worry, no se preocupen por el video. Nos interesa okay. la parte de discusión. Ok, ahí abajo. Solo okay. le dan, añade una publicación y ahí van a postear su enlace. Ok, okay. Boca Room. Here we go. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Discusión. Okay. Vámonos a Google y busquen Boca Room. Boca Room se llama. Boca Room. Boca Room. B-O-C-A. Ah, ahí es donde practicaba Jorgito. Boca Room. Yes. Boca Room. Very useful. Mm. Yes, it is. Ok, go, guys. Continue. Gracias. Ah, esta es la página. Y, y ahí vamos a, perdón, ahí vamos a repetir el, el vocabulario que tenemos. Sí. Exactly. Box, store, todo to eso. pronounce the word. Solo pronunciar esas palabras para yo luego escucharlas y ver si hay alguna corrección que hacer. Very esa good. de bookstore, uh -huh. department store, esa. Those ones. Very good, yes. Ok, gracias. Ok, go. Ya, ya ingresó, ya, ya yo la página usted, Lore. Eh... Ah, o sea, igual yo tengo que abrir, ¿verdad? Sí, o sea, tiene que abrirla. Ahorita, buscar. ¿O aquí? ¿Ah? ¿Aquí? Sí, ahí. Pero la pantalla, ¿dónde estaba? Ah, ¿A presta? Le voy a enseñar dónde. ¿Aquí? Ajá, jálelo. Así como, jalar. Vaya. Ahora, vamos a arreglar aquí. Lo siento, teacher. Hoy su. Aquí. Don't aquí. Worry, don't no, worry. Aprieta aquí. Su. No, o sea, así. ¿Cómo? <risa> Vaya. Hoy de la aquí. No le sale el video. No. Entonces, no voy, me a hacer salen. Algo. voy a compartir yo pantalla. <risa> Sorry, Ay, Anina, no. no se preocupe. Lo siento, Tiche, la tecnología no, me abruma. No, 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 diga lo siento. Está, está haciendo lo mejor que puede. Bien, there you go. Bye. Thank you, Tiche. Ahora en Zoom, el en Zoom. No. Aquí. Ah, aquí. Uh -huh. ah, ahí. Ahí, apretalo. Ahora, aquí, mira. Dele en la flechita de izquierda. ¿Aquí? No, el otro. Ajá, dele. No sale. 
No. Eh, Fere. Ay. Pero solo nosotros hemos subido. Yes. Yes. Teacher, no trae la subimos. Did you finish? Yeah. Yes, finish. Aquí están doble. Y somos bilingües nosotros. <risa> of course. So please, les pido que sea alguno eh, cerca de ustedes que no puede todavía subir la actividad, le ayuden, por favor. Se levanten. Ah, ok. Y ayuden porque veo que. ¿No podemos salir de qué? Están batallando. Sí, por favor. Okay. Okay. Alberto, aquí ya lo guardo. Ya lo guardo. ¿Me dejan en descargar? Muy fin. Ahí está. Ahora, esto. Vamos a. Me equivoqué. Ya voy. ¿Cómo no me ayudó? Did you finish? Yes, did you have the chance to finish? Falto yo. Okay, don't worry. Take your time. Todavía tenemos tiempo. Go. Yes, so. Okay, entonces voy yo. Okay. Quiere que le comparta la imagen, ¿verdad? No, no, no. No, la tiene. No, no, ah, no vaya. sí la tengo. Gracias. Ah, vaya. Ok, 
Ahí le vamos a enviar. Sí. Hola. Hola. Le vamos a enviar después de poner el link. Sí, sí. Enviar. Ok, ok. Ah, ah, sí, ya, ya, ahorita logré. Ah, entonces. entonces ese link lo tiene que copiar en la página que nos, que nos puso Ivania. Mm, va. Sí, voy a intentar entonces. Pero sí, ya lo había guardado. Eh, lo con, había guardado. Ayuda, con ayuda de Gustavito ya había guardado. No, pero, solo necesito, pero solo necesito el link. Ponerlo ahí. Sí, ya lo puse. Ah. Sí, ese, o sea, pero me lo puso él. Cuando yo quise intentar sola, no pude. Así que, pero ahorita sí, ya entré así como usted me dijo. Ah, va. Ajá. Aunque sea una vez que me escuche. Pero ahora ya sé así para practicar también, porque eh, Jorgito ya anteriormente me había comentado, pero no sabía yo cómo hacerlo. Uy, ya terminó. Lo siento, Iván. Bueno, time to come back. Time to come back. How was this practice? ¿Cómo sintieron esta práctica, chicos? Was it a little bit difficult? So easy. So you know, we are going to continue using this tool. Maybe this is the first time, but when I ask you to do this task again, it's going to be easier. Okay? Vamos a seguir practicando eso para que escuchemos siempre su pronunciación. So let me see. I already have your posts. Let me check the posts. I'm going to be listening this later on. Um, let's check the platform. Here we are. Look. I already have these ones. Compound nouns. Okay. So I'm going to be checking. Very good job. So. Yes, don't forget to practice. Practice pronunciation. This is a very nice tool. So you can practice vocabulary, pronunciation, and then compare. Compare if you're doing it great or if you need more practice. So class, we are going to move on so we can finish section number three today. We still have time. The next topic that we have is this one, three point five. We are going to use prepositions of place in order to give directions. Vamos a utilizar las preposiciones, preposiciones de lugar para eh, dar direcciones. Cómo llegamos de un lugar a otro, okay? So, for this objective, we have the prepositions of place, vocabulary. Let's take a look at this video and then we move on to the activity so we can practice right now, okay? Let me see if you're ready. Okay, me dicen si se escucha, por favor. Three, two, and one. Hi, everyone. In this class, yes. you'll learn Very prepositions good. of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. 
On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus's gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Where is Dam's Drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, Maywood was a little bit long video, but it's very important to listen to the explanation and then we can move on to the activity. So, prepositions. In this case, we call them prepositions of place. No olviden que hay diferentes tipos de preposiciones, but in this case, these are prepositions of place. So we can talk about places in a specific, um, in this case, in a specific, like, una dirección específica, okay? So we have this picture that is very similar to the one that we have in the video, and we have five different expressions, okay? Or five different prepositions of place. On. On is when we are going to talk about a street, okay? Or um, an, a specific place, on. For example, on 2nd Avenue, on 3rd Avenue, on Main Street, on. Very good. Then we have this other expression, on the corner, on the corner, when 
we have like uh, in this case locations or buildings that are just exactly or across you know están cabal en medio o se unen dos direcciones for example una calle y una avenida okay so on the corner of very useful expression on the corner of across across from for example is when you need to go from one place to the other and you need to go across most of the cases you need to cross the street that's why it is called across from al cruzar a al cruzar de un lugar out uh, the most easiest one i guess is next to when you're going to compare places that are very close from each other next to next to in between is very similar expression it's a place that is close to another one but in this case we can compare that we have one building and the other one next to each other and we have the one that is between between two places or two buildings okay so we have here an activity if you can look at this one can you identify class which are the places that you can see ¿Qué lugares podemos ver en nuestro mapa? mention the places ¿Qué lugares tenemos gas station mira aquí está gas gas station bank. we have a city bank. bank city bank yes coffee shop what is the name of the Super coffee market. shop under or right okay we have a gas station look doctor hospital. hospital what is next to the doctor hospital the US post office. Bien, vámonos yes. primero en esta cuadra. And then we have second, second avenue, avenue box store. store. Let's move to the next block. Siguiente bloque. ¿Qué tenemos acá? The first place. ¿Qué es esto? What is this? The parking. It's parking a lot. parking lot. Then across we have Arrows department, department, department store. department store. Next to the department store, we have City Bank. City Bank. And next to the City Bank, we have <laughs> Manas restaurant. restaurant. So, what is between the department mm -hmm. store and Manas Restaurant? What is between those two places? City Bank. City Bank is between. Está en medio de Manas Restaurant and the department store. Let's go. Let's move to the other block. Vámonos al otro bloque. David's Drugstore and just in front we have PNK Supermarket. 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 Movámonos al siguiente bloque. We have the park. Uh -huh. We don't have a name for this park, but this is a park. And Glove, Glove movie, movie Theater. Theater. And what else can you see in this picture? Uh -huh. This is a store. What kind of store is this one? It's a shoes store and it is called well, it doesn't have a name. And next to it, we have Al's Coffee Shop. Those tiendas, okay? Shoes and a coffee shop. And yes, I guess these are the ones. Todas estas son las que tenemos, okay? So now let's move on. Can you identify the name of the streets? ¿Qué calles pueden identificar? Calles. Mm -hmm. We help market you. Market Street. Market Street. street. Main we street. Have market. Main, Main street. and Park Street. Park Street. Three streets. Tres calles. How about avenues? Cuántas avenidas ven? 
that they go across, las que van así, across. Second. Second Avenue. And. Third. And third. Second, Second and third. Avenue. And the streets, Mark Street, Park Street, and Main Street. Very good job. So look, what is the correct spelling or the short form, la forma reducida para decir avenida, avenue, we are going to write it, ave, avenue, let me make it bigger, lo voy a hacer más grande, avenue, escribimos ave, ave, a, v, e, it stands for avenue, Street is T. Street. Street. Uh, mm -hmm. Avenue, street. Avenue and street. Yeah, this is the vocabulary that we have. So let's go and read the example. <clears throat> the department store. Where is the department store? I don't understand the department store. Here we have the answer. Where is it? Gustavo. Where is the department store? The department store is on 3rd Avenue. It's on 3rd Avenue. Avenue. Yes, it is. Very good job. Where is uh, the market? Market. It's on the corner of the circle on market. Once again, please, can you repeat that, please? It is, it is on the corner mm -hmm. of the Trier Avenue. Okay, very good. It's on the corner of the Third Avenue and? Yes, in yes, it is. Very good. So look at the expressions. On the corner of, across from, next to, and between, and just right here, we have the last exercise for today, so we can practice. Si se fijan, nos pide identificar the coffee shop, the movie theater, the gas station, the post office, and the bank. Identificar donde están, okay? So let's do an, a quick speaking practice with your classmates, so you can practice. Where is it? Pueden decir dónde está. Les comparto el mapa y las ubicaciones que tenemos que reconocer en esta imagen. Okay? Pictures that we need to identify. Don't forget to use these expressions. Okay? On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. And between. Those are the expressions that we are going to use today. You can check your WhatsApp right now and take a look at the pictures that I'm sending right now. We have the expressions and the exercise and the map. Very good job. So let's go back with your classmates. Yeah, we still have some minutes so we can conclude with this activity. Ultima actividad esta clase. Y aquí vamos. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's work in pairs. Vale, okay. es. Vale, entonces comencemos. ¿Y corner? ¿Se dice corner o, o corner? Corner, corner es el que anda español, va. Que no dice, ah. Ajá, uh, uh -huh, es uh, esquinas. Ah, no, la esquina. Pero en realidad es corner. Corner, uh -huh, corner. Ok. Vamos a la Vaya, veamos. The coffee shop is on Main Street, nos dice. ¿Dónde está el coffee shop? Ah, ya, nah, ya no te vi. Aquí. Ya lo vi. Donde dice shoes. De la par de los de shoes. Aquí, aquí acaba de ir el, el puntero. Acá. Ajá. Vaya. Y veamos la tienda de zapatos. ¿Dónde está? Ah, la par. En la esquina. Corn. Cor Adelante. Creo que. Vale. 
Christian shop, coffee shop home. Um, it's my. It's a cor it's corner. Well, and then the la the la coffee shop. The coffee shop is on. Ay, aquí lo único que veamos la tienda de zapatos donde aquí es. la tenés a la par del coffee shop. Espérate, pero ¿dónde Ahí, lo estás viendo? Aquí, ¿eh? Ah, ya, ya, ya. ya. <risa> es Gran como el mismo color, no les entiendo. Gran rato lo que es. Shos, ajá, shos. <risa> Vaya, entonces podemos decir que está a la par, prácticamente. La par. Ajá. Is next to coffee. Eso está. Ahí está la otra. Ah. Vale. No, pero la. Ah, va. Ay, dice. Vale. The coffee shop. The, the, the coffee what? shop is on Main Street. ¿Dónde es que está el, el coffee shop? ¿A dónde es que está? El coffee shop. Sí, el, el coffee, coffee shop. shop. El coffee shop está. Coffee shop, coffee shop, coffee. Aquí está, ver, al lado de derecha. Ah, vale. Entonces aquí dice on Main Street. The coffee shop. It's the shoe store. The shoe store. Ah, eh, ¿cómo se dice a la par? A la par. Ajá. Aquí está. Eh, next to. Next to. Va. Entonces aquí es. Ay, ¿dónde está? Vaya. 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 Iniciemos pues. Coffee shop. Mm. Coffee shop is on the coffee, sh the coffee shop is on Main Street. Is is on Street. Mm. The main street is uh, Back, back, back the shoe store. Back. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, pero no lo veo aquí que diga back. No. Lo, lo voy a, lo voy a, te lo voy a compartir. Para que veas. No hay. The last station. The last station. Okay. Ah, no. Market. Market is Dir Avel. Dir Avel. Ajá. Pero tenemos que ponerlo. ¿Dónde está? O sea. Bueno, por ejemplo, si hablamos nosotros de. Desecho sólido. Desecho sólido está. Enfrente. Ajá. Frente a Cotran. Ajá. Así creo que sería aquí. The last station is across from the parking lot. Se está, ajá, a la parte. Enfrente. Enfrente. Cruzando la calle. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, aquí, aquí aparece. Uh, it's for a it's correct. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Your the parking is. The parking. The parking is there. Entonces, vámonos otra vez allá donde. donde... Mm, it's okay. nice. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y aquí quizás sería igual, ¿verdad? On the corner. Sí, porque está ¿Cómo al, al lado. O sea, tiene las dos calles, tiene la, la calle y la avenida ahí. 
Uhum. Então, pronto. On the corner. Aham, on the corner. Uh, the post office is main second. <laughs> Practicamos. Sí. The coffee shop is on Main Street. Is next to the shoe store. The movie theater is on the corner of Park and Third is across from the park. Okay, number three, the gas station is across from the parking lot and it's on second in, in market. Four, the box office is on the corner of in May and second is next to the hospital. Okay, and number five, the bank is between the restaurant and the department store. It's on Third Avenue. Time to come back. Here we go. Let's wait for your classmates. So, Gaby and Guadalupe, how was this practice? ¿Cómo sintieron el uso de prepositions of place? ¿Necesitamos más práctica? Yo creo, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Yes, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Voy a compartir también en el grupo un video para que reforcemos el vocabulario. So don't worry, no se sientan que a la primera lo vamos a hacer. A veces cuesta un poquito el proceso, es práctica, practice, ok? So, here we go. Oh, they are coming right now. Lo siento, Ivani. So class, let's see, veamos si identificamos los lugares que teníamos en el mapa. Here we go. Now I have the picture and it's bigger right now. And we have five exercises, five places that we need to look for. For example, class, you know, I need to identify where the coffee shop is. Can you tell me? Necesito ir al coffee shop, to Al's coffee shop. Where is the coffee shop? Volunteers. Nosotros, con Alberto. Go. Tell me uh, about the coffee shop. Go. The coffee shop is on Main Street. It's next to the shoe store. Let me see. Vamos a comprobar si es verdad. Next to. Next to. Okay, Al's, yes, it is next to. Is it between or next to? ¿Qué está? Y nos indica que es next to, a la par. Estamos muy bien. Mm -hmm. The coffee shop is on Main Street. It's next to the shoe store. Okay, who's next? Elija quien sigue. Eh, Ivania. Ivania. Number two is for you. Ivania trabajó con quién? With fruit. Okay, so Ivania and Ruth, give me the correct answers for number two. 
the movie theater. The movie theater is on the corner of Park and Third. It's across from the park. So the first one is on the corner. And then we have? Across from. It's across from. Anyone else has a different okay. opinion or answer? Or is it correct? On the corner and across from. Where is the movie theater? I guess that meaning movie theater is just right here. Oh, yeah, here it is. So we can say that is on the corner. Yes, está en cabal justo en la esquina de que the park and third. Se une ahí, park and third and across from the park. Al cruzarse del parque. That's okay, very good job. Who's next? Ivania, choose another one. Another of your classmates. Gabi. Gabi, go ahead, please. Gas station. Um, the gas station is across the parking lot. Uh, it's across from the parking lot and is um, it's on second and market. Across, veamos aquí, lo veo a lo lejos. Across from. ¿Alguien más tiene una respuesta diferente o la misma? Across. Across from. The parking lot. And. It's on. On. Very good job. On. Recuerden que para las calles utilizamos on. On second. And Market Street. Very good. Number four. Who's next, Gaby? Teacher, yes, on the corner. Mm -hmm. It's not on, it's on the, on the corner. corner of. Por qué no es on y por qué es on the corner? Because and to, bueno, There one avenue and mm -hmm. street. There you go, porque no es solo está mencionando Market Street. Si fuera solo Market Street sería on. But if you're curious and you notice it's second and market. So it means that we are mentioning the street and the avenue. So that's right. So what are we missing? It's on. On the corner. On the corner or on the corner of. of. Very good. On the job. corner of. Uh -huh. En esquina de. Y ahí mencionamos second and market. There you go. Number four. Who's next? Number four. Where is the post office? The same, right? We have main and second. Main and second. We have the name of the avenue and the street. So what are we going to use here? The post office is. What on is the, the corner? There on you the go. corner of. Why? Because we are mentioning the street and the avenue as well. And the hospital. It's mentioned in the hospital. Next to the hospital. There you go. Next to. Next to the hospital. Very good job. Next to the hospital. Number five. Where is the bank? Bank. Where is the bank? It says restaurant between. in the department store. There you go. Between, is that just between the restaurant and the department stores? And then we have the last option that is it's, and then we have Third Avenue. Third on. Avenue. On. on, very good. Is it on the corner of or just on? Only on. on. Only on, because we are not comparing. We are not uh, mentioning, in this case, the name of the street. So, you know, yes, I guess we really need to practice this. But as of right now, these are the most common expressions and the most useful. Claro que hay muchas más expresiones para dar dirección, okay? Go, 
eh, and walk behind. along, behind, muchas preposiciones, no solo son estas, ok? O walk two, three blocks, camina tres bloques, camina cuatro bloques de acá, ok? But these are the most common and the most useful. For example, if I ask you, where do you work or what is in front of your workplace? What buildings do we have in front, across, off, between? ¿Qué tenemos en su trabajo? Hablamos de su lugar de trabajo. What is in front, next to, or between? Can you mention the name of the places that you have around? What is around? ¿Qué está alrededor de ustedes? Yes. What is around? ¿Qué está cerca de Taco Trans? Nada, están aislados in en el bloque. In front is nada. park, is the parking. Oh, you have a parking lot. It's in front. Hay parking lot. The parking lot, el parqueo, parking lot. What yes. else? Yes. Ah, the avenue. Do you have an the avenue? Is... We are across from uh, desechos sólidos. Ah, ok. So, what if somebody asks you, ¿qué si alguien les pregunta? ¿Cómo llego a Daco Trans? How do I get Daco Trans? This is why we need to practice prepositions of place, ok? Ah, yes, it's just in front of a parking lot, it's in front of, and then you mention the name of the place, it's behind, it's next to. So, coming back from vacation, I'm gonna ask you, ok? I'm gonna ask you about prepositions of place. Class, don't forget to go visit the platform and complete the activities from section number three. If you have questions or comments, please let me know in the chat, okay? So, questions and comments? Yes, no? Preguntas, comentarios, si no? Vamos a parar la clase acá. Thank you so much for joining today. It was a pleasure. Okay. See you. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Happy vacation. Bye. Same to you. Bye bye. See you next week. See you next week. See you. Bye bye.